uh, cross to, to show. So today we are looking at the Muri Easter play. Uh, the first few fragments I've brought you a screenshot this time not from one of the performances I've been involved in but um, the announcement from one of the older uh, York cycles so you know that you can see every year a cycle of medieval mystery plays performed in York in medieval setting and why I picked it is because the expositor Ludi reads from a scroll and that's exactly how um, a, the director in a medieval play would have operated um, his text and the form in which uh, the only manuscript of the Osterspiel uh, von Buri that we have is um, transmitted to us or, or we can reconstruct it. So this is a facsimile reconstruction which you can look at if you... That's up on the gallery in the Tellurian next to the door that leads up to the linguistics um, room. There is a full cupboard um, with facsimile editions of medieval manuscripts and I find it um, very helpful to, to see the different formats. So the Innsbruck Easter play that we had was a compilation of several plays in one fair copy. While this obviously was, um, and that was written on paper, while this is parchment, which is kind of uh, medieval plastic, incredibly durable. And because of this durability, also normally recycled to hold other things together. So in this case, to hold a um, Bible together. Um, this is Professor Nigel Palmer, who actually prepared uh, the text that we are using of the Osterspiel um, von Buri and Innsbrucker Osterspiel. And he asked me to photograph him uh, with a facsimile because he was giving a guest lecture at Baku and he didn't want to take uh, the facsimile on uh, <laughs> the journey with him, so to uh, document it. Um, so, uh, the dialect uh, area we are going to is moving to Switzerland, and uh, the manuscript, uh, both the text and the manuscript are probably from the area of uh, Zurich, so it's different from the Innsbruck Easter play where we had the Thuringian origin and then it traveled to uh, Austria. Um, you'll see by quite a bit of generic content overlapping how oral transmission must have happened across the whole German speaking areas and you find sections of it as well in low German place. In the last uh, lecture, in the eighth lecture, I'll look at um, Easter place from those regions of the German-speaking alliance that we haven't covered with uh, Thuringia, Austria and Switzerland, just to, to show how this traveled beyond the manuscript uh, transmission. And um, the manuscript was recycled in um, the 15th century. And uh, you see, I tried to demonstrate it yesterday with uh, Lino's copy of the uh, Benedictine Breviary. Uh, and, but this is actually much bigger. It's a um, folio format. So one of uh, the uh, early Latin printed Bibles, which was printed um, at, uh, before 1466, uh, the, before the 24th of May 1466, because we have a, uh, somebody who bought it on that date, so it must have been printed by then, 
which uh, conversely means these strips were bound at some point after that into because you would buy a Bible or something like that loose and then you needed to put it into wooden boards and to glue it in you would use this uh, sturdy material of parchment which explains why it, there are several letters that aren't legible down here which was the crease where it was uh, folded in um, and you have a cut off so the a parchment was slightly longer each sheet than this um, folio format it was um, written in columns but uh, then you would uh, so you would read one sheet in two columns and then you would roll on the next sheet uh, read up that out and then you would turn it round and read so uh, the back is written upside down on the piece and um, these are then the new uh, fragments which were then so the Bible was only later disbound first only the bits were read that were clearly visible and then it was taken out of its cover and uh, these strips that went across the back were also um, uh, read and they are even more bettered as you can see that's why you have all these holes in the middle of uh, lines we actually have an Eggestein Bible in the Bodleian so if, um, if you feel like uh, diving into a bit of materiality you can always order it to the um, Western Library a rare books uh, reading room have a look at it the scenes of uh, the Muri play um, are uh, corresponding to most of the Innsbruck Easter play but they are integrated much more closely the first part than the Innsbruck Easter play. So the Visitatio de Pulchri um, is more or less uh, the same except that it misses uh, the what you said is your favorite uh, bit the race of the apostles mm -hmm. We can't completely exclude that it would have been um, at the end because we are missing uh, the very end bit. Since um, it can't have been longer the end than the bit of the prologue, since that's the end of the scroll. So you read, uh, back. Um, if there was an apostle's race, it must have been very short, and the epilogue then also must have been very short. But we. Um, the proportions are more or less the same, so you have uh, the major part in the Visitatio de Pulchri and there, since it's uh, so Latin based, um, you can't deviate a lot. But what the play in Muri does is to make um, Pilate and the merchant, the pivots, for linking together all um, the scenes. So Pilate's uh, character shifts, he becomes like uh, the judge in a small market town in Zurich or, or in, the, uh, in Switzerland who would hold a, a market day when everybody could come and um, ask for permission to show their goods or uh, to hire uh, merchants or to have payment done. So um, while we had different houses for, so the merchant's house completely separate from Pilate's house, we have here one main location on stage, Pilate's house, and um, the merchant has uh, been downgraded to be um, 
an a uh, peddler so he doesn't have uh, his uh, setup he has to come and sell uh, like a, a street food vendor his goods rather than uh, trading from uh, one. Uh, and he has become a more shady character even. So in the Innsbruck Easter play we had the differentiation of uh, the group of uh, the merchants. So you had the merchant, Antonia, his wife, Rubin, his main servant, and then Rubin hires this chain of lower servants, Lasterbalk, Pusterbalk. Um, here it's all rolled in one, so the uh, merchant is um, not addressed as Meister, or, and he doesn't play the role of the dog tech. He is um, the, addressed as Paltenere. Oh, I misspelled it here. Um, but, uh, that uh, who would somebody um, roaming and um, yeah street uh, vendor. Are there two words for him? One is um, the institutor, uh, which uh, yeah oh. I, I like the huckster, hawker, peddler uh, uh, <laughs> um, series of, of things. So this is uh, the image of a, a, a merchant in the Innsbruck play, and this one is more the what is the Rubin figure uh, social status in the um, Innsbruck. Uh, what is uh, then just looking at it? Because, uh, yeah, I forgot it. Rearranged that. Um, the uh, starting scene sees then. Um, Guarding the tomb, um, the hiring of the guards, and I, I thought I should show you what would have been familiar to an audience in 13th century German speaking lands as um, tomb for Christ. So, this is from um, northern Germany, an example, but you had similar examples all across the German speaking. Lens. Uh, so you have a tomb which you can open, you, you can fold down the top opening and then you see uh, Christ lying in the tomb. You can fold it uh, back up again, um, so then you see only the guards um, guarding the tomb and then you can lift uh, uh, open the bottom doors and then you'll see an empty tomb. So it's um, a, like, a bit like the magician's trick with a lady sawn in half. Um, you, you can stage in one um, piece of furniture the whole uh, resurrection. So it starts in the middle of the negotiations between uh, Pilate and the guards. And, um, we must assume that there had been a prologue before that, and pro uh, probably also the Jews coming to Pilate, who's sitting there as um, the main judge of the uh, market town and ask um, to be allowed um, to hire guards to, to do it via him. Um, 
And uh, it starts with them promising that they will make sure that uh, swearing by their own life, und sun wir leben uh, means so um, if uh, we uh, uh, live so um, nothing but uh, death would prevent uh, us from doing this guarding of the tomb. Then, sorry. Uh, and then they start uh, negotiating and the uh, money issue is, is uh, much more at the foreground in the um, Muri play because uh, money is used also to link the negotiations of pilot with the guards and with a um, merchant or peddler who is uh, who has to buy his license to um, sell his goods on the marketplace and this money is needed then for uh, by pilot to bribe uh, the uh, guard so here it's not about bribing, it's simply about uh, the payment. And they say nothing less than 20 marks will do. Um, an ort is uh, the kind of tiniest uh, measure you could um, say, like a, a dot on an I um, would be an ort. Uh, so... The, then we have even less uh, stage directions than with the Innsbruck Easter play where we had in between the, at least the short Latin captions. So you suddenly have, um, you go from Tertius Custos uh, talking to Pilot uh, and then you have suddenly the first Jew talking to Pilot. Um, and it's not, you have to work out for yourself from the manuscript um, how they relate to each other. Of course, on stage it would be clear because they would already have been there. And um, you have just to imply that they had already asked for this uh, protection and uh, now they have um, paid for this and now they ask for Urlaub as in the Minnesang the um, singer asked the lady to give him Urlaub uh, the permission to uh, leave and um, then the Jews instruct the guards how they should um, distribute themselves. Um, and uh, you see it multiplying the roles. Uh, uh, we had in, how, oh, I've forgotten, how many guards are there in the Innsbruck Easter play? Number five? Um, uh, here you need at least uh, 10 people. Uh, po probably the most popular roles, uh, you are allowed to dress up in, in armor. So like uh, uh, for fashion, um, everybody wants to be uh, uh, a knight or a Roman um, rather than one of uh, the weaker roads. And, um, so the uh, negotiation between the Jews and the guards probably will then have taken place somewhere between uh, the house of Pilate where he's sitting in state and then the tomb at the side um, on, on front stage. And um, 
here you see the multiplication and also the uh, interest of identifying with the guards because um, the guards got later painted coat of arms so here somebody has written Lüneburg um, on it uh, next to the coat of arms of Lüneburg. So even though the guards don't perform too well. Um, and then comes an interesting uh, speech because um, we can only read on the text Pilate addresses somebody and uh, the question is whom is he addressing? The Jews have just gone off uh, um, with the uh, guards so they are both at least a bit away um, are they supposed still to hear him? And it's probably rather, again, kind of breaking um, the wall towards the audience, um, who he addresses, Fanimd Alamin Gabot. And then he uh, wishes them good night and uh, tells them to go home and come. Um, back tomorrow healthy. So uh, they are brought into the presence of, uh, as they would have been on a market uh, day in town. Um, the first uh, three people have now got been granted their uh, wishes, um, will adhere, uh, adjourn to the next day for hearing the other cases. Uh, um, you see here Pilatus at, and then it's illegible whom he addressed. But you also see um, this is the end of his speech on Comet Morne wieder gesund. And um, then you have in the margin. Uh, Note posttonitrum, uh, it's barely legible, posttonitrum primus custos. So after um, the thunderbolt has uh, rumbled, can you say, is it, do you say thunderbolt? Uh, thunder has, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, and um, whether we should imagine that actually um, the performance was done over several days and uh, so the next day then starts with this uh, uh, probably somebody having a um, thunder sheet to to rattle uh, so instead of the angels uh, saying Zilete you have the thunder rattling <laughs> uh, that would uh, then quieten the crowd and um, when the, actually the first guard could turn to the audience who had just uh, the last night been addressed by Pilate and say, have you seen, have you heard what I heard? So it, it's again a bit like uh, this pantomime um, integrating uh, the audience in what's happening. Yeah, uh, And then um, here comes the fragment, those that are marked with uh, the Greek letters are uh, where we just have one column of the original, two columns in the uh, strips that are cut. So um, that probably followed soon after the first full fragment of this short binding segment. Um, Tonrinslack uh, is uh, the typical L metathesis. Uh, instead of Donner, you have Donre. 
uh, which you have in lots of uh, words also between English and German, uh, horse, ross. So L can be put after or before the vowel. Um, yeah, as a uh, Swiss spelling peculiarity, you quite often have instead of um, uh, C H H C, and you have the um, uh, a signature of uh, the Upper German. Um, you have the um, uh, second consonant shift also extended to the K in initial position. So, you know, in uh, standard German, you have PTK moving to pf, tz, sh, um, and p uh, and pf, tz, sh, in in middle position, but only to. Pf, in, so you have cake becomes Kuchen, while in Swiss German it becomes Kuchen. Uh, so um, the kind of shibboleth word is Kuche for um, uh, a container to have uh, to serve cake in. And so you have this Kuche uh, Kraschli Kuchen. We will, uh, I, I don't think uh, either of us will try to. No, uh, imitate the uh, Swiss or the German, but you should imagine it being um, spoken by a very slow speaking Swiss soldier. Um, we should have. Uh, we have a, a, a couple of, of Swiss students here, so I should have got one of them. To, uh, yeah. Um, so the uh, they um, also um, fight, but um, it's not at uh, much um, as a comic stage fight as a way then to assert the truth um, because they then come to pilot and um, testify to the uh, fact that the guards won't be silenced uh, originally. Um, so he uh, keeps to his version of the story even uh, when threatened with um, a, a fight. So um, there we must assume as missing stage direction which the director would have known to send the servant who's uh, then getting um, the guards back and then they negotiate with pilot and um, they use it as a way of to testify for, uh, for the resurrection. So you have a kind of um, like in an evangelical gathering somebody standing up and saying I believe Jesus uh, is risen. So you have a kind of bit of uh, sermon going on. So they all repeat, we have indeed seen that uh, Christ is risen. So um, then Pilate uh, thinks what to do and um, Uh, realizes he needs money to pay uh, them off, uh, so Schweigegeld. Um, 
and that then gives the occasion to bring in the peddler and to uh, so who's coming to uh, ask for um, sales permission and a uh, pilot um, that negotiates with him that he wants as much money uh, from him, the 20 mark, as he needs to bribe the guards, thereby linking these two things. Um, and then he is allowed aufschlagen, so to... Um, uh, you only use it nowadays for Zelt, ein Zelt aufschlagen, um, to put up a, a tent, and in the same way he puts up a temporary uh, store for selling his uh, goods, rather than this uh, selling from the house. And um, then uh, there is a the, the sales pitch uh, is really like um, on a TV uh, morning show where he is trying to, um, to uh, praise his goods by uh, showing that they are incredibly efficient to um, beautify yourself so that your lover will fall for you. Mm. Again, many of the words are only in this text, so uh, don't trust uh, necessarily the translation that is given in the Reklam edition, because it will be um, partly made up. So um, you can only assume, for example, that since he is praising several things to um, uh, to use as um, yeah for uh, as makeup uh, that these must be elements uh, for, like for um, whiteness um, whether the what you would use glitzerspart for I'm I'm not really sure. The, um, but they all seem to be something to um, make yourself look whiter and fairer. Uh, you remember the, in the Innsbruck Easter play that uh, Lucifer sends his messenger to go to Apulia uh, to pick up um, the priest uh, there. So um, here is, it's also Apulian. Well, that's now the source of uh, particularly uh, superior Italian makeup. Um, what you see here, names coming in, uh, and that must be references to uh, members in the audience who are made fun of. And you would, if you were then to copy the play um, in Zug or Bern, you would uh, pr uh, put in local characters. And, uh, you can be fairly sure that somebody... Most, uh, uh, it's a time when family names aren't yet fully fixed, so they start um, being formed from nicknames. So this uh, would be a hunchback who is then called uh, Johannes Krumm. Um, uh, similarly, Ruhrlin Stadzin. What actually uh, he's made fun of with the Stadzin, whether it's uh, somebody who is herumstolzieren um, uh, or whether he is somebody, um, the Reklam edition thinks it might be uh, somebody who stammers, but uh, it's only clear that it's a, a joke that was alive for the first audience and is now dead for us. So if you were to stage this one, you would uh, make sure to put in um, an Oxford uh, character um, who's made uh, to be made fun of. 
All right. Let's go for it. So hurten wir und sun wir leben, dass wir ihn wiedergeben, als wir ihn finden rechte. Besprechen, Gurkenknechte. Was werden die darum einfahren? Herr, wir wollen lahn in Ort nicht. 20 Marke. Du gern den Schurken Stache. Seht, dass ihr nicht schlafen. Ihr sollt uns ihn gewaffen. Wir werden zu dem Grabe hin. Das haben wir Ehre und ihr Gewinn. Schurken. Das tun wir, Herr, wisset das. Noch Herren auch, ihr Herren da. Der Wunder, dass ihr neben war. Wie das Grab wie heute sie, so sind wir von Sorgen frei. Das rate ich auf die Truhe hin. Truven, Herre, das soll sehen, du hast uns wohl geraten, recht als wir dich baten, auch behaget uns den Helfe wohl, der Rat dich immer helfen soll. Nun gib uns Urlaub, lass uns fahren. <lacht> Gott, der muss auch wohl bewahren, garantieren und schirren das also, dass wir der Worte werden froh. Ähm. Well, uh, you, you can join me to have a, a crowd. Ihr Drieger sollen uh, liegen hier, so liegen an der Seite. Wir, so liegen diese Dorte und wir an jenem Orte. Wachen wohl und schlafen nicht, so wird euch, dass ich ist, verpflicht. Es wir nicht ähm, erwähnt behalten das, so müssen wir euch sehen gehasst. Davon so hüten sehre. Herre, auf unsere Ehre. Er ist uns also befohlen, dass er uns nimmer wird verstohlen. Vernehmt alle mein Gebot, ich gebüte auch eines Wort, Mannen und Lieben gar, dass ihr vorkommen habt, so dass er nicht mehr erholde, viel leisen mit Schulde, wann ich will dann richten und das Unrecht lichten. Ob mir jemand klaget ich, schwer, aber ihr Haar krummet nicht, dem sie mir in Hulde für Zeit, es sie mir lieb oder leid, und nimm immer Gott und lieb. Und lass immer nicht wahren, denn lieb, so muss er immer äh, meine Klagen, nur wir auch äh, nicht mehr sagen. Gott, der gib euch gute Nacht, ihr sollt den Kehren angebracht. Wieder rein, nur zu stund, und komm mit morgen wohl gesund. Na. Sag jemand, dass ich habe gesehen? Ist jemand, als mir ist geschehen? Geselle, der hier bei mir lag, hörtest du den Donnerschlag oder bin ich ertöret? Ich habe auch gehört einen starken Donnerschlag. Mir war es, als er auf meinen Nack begunde auch. Und, ähm, und und durchte mich da ungehör, durchgesagt des Donners für, an meiner Sieden fallen nieder. Ich will auch nicht kommen wieder, sieht mir das Leben ist belieben. Was von am Then, when some, uh, so Jesus jumping up uh, out of the chair. Uh, uh, <laughs> ah! ah. <laughs> you want me to speak? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, uh, so, uh, when, so, was von Jesus ist geschrieben, und er selber hat gesagt, das ist seine rechte Wahrheit. Er ist erstanden. Das ist wahr. Den Tum beim Mund hat dich betrogen. Trüben, ich habe nicht gelogen. Ich sah ihn großen Blickestrahl. Dir mag wohl an das Leben gehen, ob du dich nicht geswiegen willst. Uns hilft nur nicht unser Schild, ob ich die Engel kommen sah, do das Donners Schlag geschah und uns in dem Grabe gehen. <lacht> Geselle, lasst ihn warnen. Ihr sollt mehrere trauen mir. Du schwieg, oder ich schlage dir, dass ihr soll werden, Sur. Was redest du, Gebore? Schwieg, oder ich schlage in den Mund, dass du nimmer wird gesund. Nun vernimm, was die Rede sei. Hören wir mir. Geben. Komm recht, hast du mir vernommen? Gar hin und halt sie Haar kommen. Doch bald nicht in Summe dich. Liebe Herr, das tue ich. Ah, ähm. Ihr sind zu meinem Herren gehen. Nur wohl hin, dass sie getan. Sie ist wieder herum, Grundrecht, mein allerliebster Knecht. Sage Anne, hast du die Ritter gebracht? Herr, als du hast gedacht, so kommen sie gelieche, hier zu dir gütliche. Sind wir herum, ihr Herren mir. 
sehr viel gut. Nur sagen ihr, was für Schallis ist bei euch gewesen? Da sind wir chumme Chinesen. Wir waren viel nah alle tot und sind entrunnen mit Not. Und wie uns geschehen ist, das sag ich dir in kurzer Frist. Da wir hier nachlagen, als wir des Grabes pflagen mit viel großem Fließe, da kam ein Engel Wiese, der begonnen zu zu uns gahen und du er uns wollte nahen, du kam vor ihm ein Donnerschlag, davon erscheint er überall von dem Blicke Schosse in Für, davon war da so ungehör, dass wir viel Kume entrunnen sehen. Ich sprich es auf die Trümin, dass wir des Gelieche gehen, dazu haben wir auch gesehen, dass der Engel den Stein von dem Grabe ruckte in ein und Jesus ist erstanden, uns und ü zu schanden, das mögen wir gelaugen nicht. Das ist ja ein Wunderlich gefrieft. Ob auch der Wahn nicht hat getrogen. Wir haben nicht um ein Wort gelogen, das soll mir lieb sehen wie ein Pfand. Du hast uns Marteren zur Hand, ob wir nicht wahrhaben gesagt. Herre, es ist ein Wahrheit, gar eine Lauge. Ich sag mit müden Augen, Jesum von dem Grabe aufstahn und viel schöne Dannen gan, als ihm nie beschehe Leid. Herre, dass sie hand gesagt, das sag ich nicht gemeine, wir sahen es nicht eine, wir sahen es gemeine. Davon sehend ihr dazu. Wenn, nun weiß ich, was ich tue, ihr Herren rat und es ist seht, wann unsere Ehre daran liegt und vernehmen die Lüte das, so geloben sie an Jesum was. Dann an alle unsere Gotte. Davon werden wir sehr spotte und es rächet uns viel Seere. Ich rate auf meine Ehre, ob ich gefällt das, oder ihr raten das dann was, dass wir den Gesellen 20 Pfunde zählen. Das ist wohl mein Wille, ob sie uns gefolgen ist. Herr, nun sagen wir es. Dass ihr die Rede gar verdagen und die Geschichte zählt und sagend, so gehen wir auch 20 Pfund. Herr, der uns hier zur Stund der 20 Pfunde bereit, so beliebet es ungeseit, als ihr uns Hahn erbeten hier. Es zählt nicht hier von Gerichte gern, dass man sie denen eine Bahn des Gottes bereiten soll. So ist es, verdagert wohl, so sollte uns gebieten. Ich will auch dem bieten, dass es viel Gassig ist wie ihn. Das wird dir Hilfe nicht verziegen, die Rede ist unterbrochen, als wir da haben, versprochen. Ich möchte, gebe ich auch Gott den Segen, Gott, der muss so euer pflegen und hat die Rede, dass das jemand wird. Ihr Herren, die, nun lassen wir die Rede stand, das was gehen und wir sehen, in, in, und das Bein, ein Mann, sagt, äh, fand die Rede nicht zu werden viel. Ihr Herren, wer ich klagen will, der soll die Klage anfahren, wann mein Herr, der will gahn. Vernimm, lieber Hermin, ich bin auf die Gnade, die ihn kommen her in den Gewalt und führe Kran, Mannigfalt, den wollte ich hier verkaufen, hier wird ihn zurlaufen, an diesem Tage Hüte, viel männige Hande lüte. Zwir, du mir das geben willst, wie kleine deiner mich befiehlt, dass ich dir gibbe mit Gewicht, Goldes, das entlass ich nicht, 20 Marken wäre. Viel lieber, Paltenäre, du bär mir je mit treuen Holz, so ihr von dir haben das Gold, so habe ich ihn geleitet. Viel wollte ich dich bereite, das sprich ich auf mein Trübe. Ich fürchte, dass ich äh, dich bereue, davon so hätte ich gern fand. Ich berit, äh, bereite dich zur Hand, das bitte ich dich nicht sorgen, doch sollte mir borgen und sich den Kran bewende, Ende an ein Ende. So bereite ich, Herre, dich, des habe du zu pfande mich. Ob ich dir nicht verbringe, viel gar den Gedinge, so slam ich die Urlaub an. Weiter näher, also flach, also flach. Ich bin Kran gereite und habe Gott geleitet. Doch sollst du nicht von ihm kommen, eh du mit Urlaub hast genommen. Hast du nur vernommen mich? Ja, Herre, das tue nicht. So, aber ich noch hüte leben, so will ich etteslicher geben, dass sie danach gerührt, so sie daran vernübelt. Ihr Herren, ich soll gern. Das soll du, Herr, anfahren. So will ich es beginnen. So gehen wir samt dir hinnen. War nu die Kaufen wellend, mich wundert, dass sie twellen. 
die mindere Geile, die finden hier Pfeile, Bibergeil, Alrune, sie müssen wohl wesen Slune, die das Ichtwend gewinnen, davon sie Frauen minnen. Wahr sind ihr schönen Frauen, kommend, ich lasse euch schauen, Kram, den ich euch Hahn bracht, danach ich lange Hand gedacht, Feder Griers und Spart, dass niemand wand ich Pfeile hat. Ühlen, Brate und Pullewies, danach was ihr der Frauen fließt, die sich wollten gestehen und ihr Farbe glästen. Gästen, äh. Wahr ist Johannes Krumbe, es erdunket mich viel Dumbe, dass er nicht kaufet etwas was. Wand ihn die Frauen minnet bass, dann ander genurge. Auch pflieget Gurterfurge, Ruhrlin Stadzin, weiß ich wohl, davon er gerne kaufen soll von mir den hübschen Frauvelin in viel rotes Farvelin. Sven will kaufen, der wohl her, ich wähne wohl, erfinde gar, und wann comes a number of lines and we can reconstruct Uh, the lines because we know how big the sheets would have been, so how many lines are missing. And you see in the next fragment, he's still at his sales pitch with Gultel, uh, Zeckel, uh, uh, Fingerlin. So uh, that would have uh, gone on. Uh, just a bit back to the vocab uh, used here. Um, so I had said um, the merchant is on a lower social scale than the merchant in the Innsbruck play, but uh, he uses probably half mockingly, or very much mockingly, the language of courtly love. Frauen minnen, so uh, how um, to gain the love of noble ladies. And um, a particularly interesting ingredient uh, from the kind of medieval uh, uh, Viagra is Bibergeil. So these are balls of beavers, um, which to, to take uh, pulverized to um, yeah, increase performance. Uh, same with uh, mandrake roots. And, um, the Bibergeil um, is derived from uh, the story about beavers in the Physiologos, which was the natural history manual from antiquity, uh, how animals behave. Um, and the beaver is reported to uh, bite off his testicles when he is uh, pursued by hunters and throw them behind him so that the hunters will only uh, take away the uh, testicles and leave him alone. Which doesn't, I think, necessarily uh, come from a natural observation, <laughs> but it's more a story to be told for the moral that um, if you feel sinful lust, um, better to get rid of uh, the lust uh, than uh, to uh, come to eternal damnation. But the, um, the moral connected with this only made it uh, more uh, desirable to get uh, some of this Lieberguy. The word um, Geil shares with a, uh, a root with English gay. And like gay, it has had its cyclical um, nature, and so it was a um, acceptable word in the Middle Ages, even with a slightly dodgy character. So, geil just meaning being high, happy, um, but it can also mean um, a lusty, eager, and so it drops out of usage um, or just becomes the taboo word in early modern German. And um, it has been revived in late 20th century um, but, uh, because it's a taboo word that you can provoke uh, your parents with. And it has now, again, entered mainstream uh, words. So um, 
there was this advertisement of uh, one of the media markets in Germany, Geiz is Geil, so um, trying to sell cheap electronics with a um, word uh, Geil, uh, which when I was a uh, child was still a, a four-letter word not to be uh, used. And the same happened with uh, gay in medieval English, just meaning uh, happy, uh, then becoming um, tabuized as meaning homosexual love, and then be readopted as a positive um, self-description uh, uh, for homosexuals. All right, so uh, a short etymological um, ending, and next week we'll continue... Um, with the fragments of the second part, mainly um, the Visitatio Sepulcri, where then the uh, merchant or the uh, peddler here is again the linchpin through which the first part is linked to the more serious liturgical second part. Uh, try to think while reading through it really of um, how to stage it because that helps putting the things into context and place. Thanks to the Swiss pilot. <laughs>